fish on. Yeah, they're aggressive. Oh, fish on. We got a fish on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, I did not get a video up last week because we had some storms rolling through here and it's just been tough to get out there, at least to be safe. But, I did get out this past weekend with Todd, the kayak warrior. You've seen him before on the channel. I'm gonna link his information down in the description. Go ahead, check out his channel. And give him a like and a follow, subscribe to his channel. He's got some great content on there for you. Without any further ado, we were out fishing Tampa Bay. We got on a real good sheep's head bite. It was a slow start for the sheep's head, but after we got hit with a real big rainstorm, it really turned on after that. So stay tuned and take a look. Oh, fish on. All right, we got a fish on. What do we got? We have a very nice snapper. Wow, really nice snapper. Look at this guy. All right. That was a good way to start, man. Very good way to start. All right, that is exciting. There we go. Real nice snapper. Probably somewhere in the range of 13. Let's find out. We don't want to guess. All right. This guy wants to bite me, but he's sitting at 13 and a half inches. Nice 13 and a half inch snapper. He's biting my tether. You got some sandwiches. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, that was my first official keeper snapper on an artificial. That came on a three yacht owner twist lock hook and uh, the Slam Shady, three inch Slam Shady Minnow Z. Fishing the Ugly Stick GX2 with the pen. Fierce 3. This combo actually came from that man over there, the kayak warrior. When I flipped my kayak, lost my gear, he's the one that brought it all together and got me on the water right away. So hats off to that man. You've seen him before on my channel. You've seen him with JC from Rad Reeling. As you see him over there, just chatting it up to his, uh, his viewers. Top notch guy right there. Top notch. Nothing bad to say about that guy. So this thing really hangs by the top quite a bit because um, it's only an eighth inch or an eighth inch an eighth ounce hook so if i retrieve it too quickly it will actually just skate the top that'll leave a mark oh that got hit on the drop someone tagged this thing just as it hit the water yeah they, they're pretty vicious over there yeah they're aggressive oh fish on we got a fish on. Oh, he's fighting. This one doesn't want to be brought up. Look at it. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Okay, just look at that. <laughs> Slam Shady. Yep. Um, was doing the, uh, got an eighth ounce owner twist lock on there with the Slam Shady. Yep, you, do, John. No ice. you can put them in my bag. Or you can take, uh, I've got, let me come over there. Yeah? I don't know if I'd do a stringer out here. I know. Because of the dolphin and Yeah. Else. I've got like two of those plastic blue um, ice packs from the small coolers and two gel packs. Nope. I have that. Never mind. I have my, my stuff. You got one? <laughs> Alright, so we got another nice size snapper. 
Very nice size snapper here. Papa. Hey, babe. Hey, is it still a raining? Yeah. Yep, <laughs> my wife called. She should have called 10 minutes ago. Yeah, you should have called earlier. Okay, well, I just wanted to check in to see if it was still raining out there. Yeah, it's still raining. He keeps, baby. 13 inch sheeper. Nice. Look at bait and fish and wearing them out over there. All right, guys, started chumming him up. Caught a nice keeper sheeper. He's going in the box. Oh, fish on. It's a heavier, oh, it was a heavier fish. Oh, my hook is gone. What the world? Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. My knot is still there. It literally ripped the leader that was wrapped around the hook. It broke the leader that was wrapped around the hook. I can't believe that. Wow, that was the heaviest fish of the day by far. In fact, I lost the biggest fish of the day at the knot. Not because my tied knot failed, but because the knot broke at the eye of the hook. So I still had my knot there. That's that's a first for me. I've never had that happen before. You ever had that happen before? Comment below if you've uh, had your knot break right where you tied it. That's a first for me. Now I was going to call it quits with that bait. But I can't. I can't leave like that. Would not be right if I left it like that. And that thing literally got to the bottom and was hit immediately. Fish on. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Yes. All right. Now I can go home. Okay, we've got a good fish here. It has about 15 and a half. 15 and a half inch sheeper. I'm gonna get him in the box. This is one of those cases where it's like I need to go but this bite just turned on, so it's like maybe I can drop one more. Then that one more turns into one more. And it just keeps going. And going and going until you end up sleeping on the couch. We don't really want to sleep on the couch. more look at that guy before he jumps back in the water wow all right this doesn't feel like a snook this time at least it's a sheeper keeper sheeper Think this guy will keep? Huh? 
on your feet. This is fun. This is fun. This is fun. Oh, uh. Yeah, right? So there's a saying in Romanian. It goes, Dupares vine plants, all right? So what it basically means is after laughter comes the crying. Hey, <laughs> gone. This guy is hooked really well. Oh, that was a chore. <laughs>